haven't been filming too much in Greece. Um, there's been some Paris attacks and stuff in Paris, and I just really didn't feel like in the mood to be like taking pictures and uh, celebrating travel for a few days. But um, this morning I woke up at 3 a.m. to get to the airport and take the flight to uh, San oh, Santa Torini. And um, honestly, I got to the hotel and I just passed out for like an hour. Um, I took a shower, I did some laundry, and I'm ready to explore. I'm here for three days, which I think is fun. But I am just tired. Waking up at 3 a.m. Like, I need a full night's sleep. Like, waking up at 3 a.m. is not good for me. But I do have my own hotel room because that's how they do it. Um, and now I'm just going to go to Black Sand Beach. Or just a beach. I don't know yet. And just lay down there. So I really just need to sleep all day. But yeah, um, Athens was really good. Um, just saw a bunch of ruins. And just walked around town so so much. Um, a lot of shopping, a lot of ruins. Um, I took a few walking tours. So it was very interesting um, to see all the ruins, except for they're like really 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 ancient. So it's like you have to use your imagination a lot in Athens to really get the full picture of stuff. Um, but still really cool. <sighs> okay, beach time and take a nap time. <laughs> Again, second nap of the day. Woo! Hey, kitty. Cats are everywhere. Yeah. Looks like my booger now. Uh, so it is just unbelievably dead here. Um, it's November 15th today. So it is winter season, so everything is closed. But I thought it'd be a kind of warmer. Athens was really warm, so um, the only thing saving me right now is the sand is black. So um, it's keeping me warm. Um, otherwise, the wind's making me cold, and no, there's nothing open. Um, I think he said maybe two grocery stores are open. But on the plus side, I do have the place to myself. And um, I do plan on going on, I do plan on going on lots of uh, hikes. So I'm gonna hike up that baby. And um, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna hike across from Fira to Aura um, tomorrow, which is supposed to be the best hike. So um, this weather is perfect for hiking. So that's good. Swimming, however, it's not so perfect. But yeah, it's beautiful. And the cats are just everywhere. So I went grocery shopping because um, it's quite expensive on the island for food and stuff. Plus everything's closed. So, and also I have my own fridge. Ah, and it works. I don't think I've ever had my own fridge before. So I got, <laughs> I got, I got, I had Greek, like proper Greek yogurt for the first time today. Um, and it was amazing. So I just got the staple bread. Then I got a big <laughs> bucket of Greek yogurt. I think it's Greek yogurt. It, it's in Greek and it's yogurt and it was only a euro. So I'm sure it's because it's going to go out of date, but I'm only out here for two days. But yeah, I don't know what it says. It's all Greek to me. <laughs> then I just got some cheese. I got some like, this is, I don't know, aubergines. And like, stop, so I'm excited. I'm excited for my own fridge. Hey guys, so I'm in Santa Torini. Um, it's one of the Greek islands. It's winter time, so it's still, um, everything's closed. But I'm just hiking, so it's perfect weather for hiking. Which I'm about to hike from Fira to Aya, the town of Aya. And, um, but this is Fira. 
and um, I'm about to hike, it's about three hours, so yay! I, I miss hiking so much, so it's gonna be a good day. destination over there. So I just have that little leg left. I made a detour to this rock. Um, but yeah, I came from a hill. You can see. Came from over, eh, maybe over there. I don't know. But yeah, not too bad. with marble you know you're somewhere fancy. Welcome to IO Okay, so I walked all the way from Farah to Isle, and I decided I'm gonna walk back. So that's like six hours of walking for me. So I just started the walk back. So it should go faster on the way back because I'm not gonna be stopping and taking pictures as much, but also means I'm not gonna rest as much. So I have to get back to get a bus. So, um,. That's kind of making me go faster too. So here's a race to get back before it gets dark. <laughs> Yay! And now you've got yourself something funky. up this today. I'm already tired. I had a big hiking day yesterday and now I decided to do another one. I'm stupid. So I'm about halfway up. Um, it's, it's not that hard. It's just 
very, very windy, so I'm kind of in like a crevice area right now, so I'm kind of blocked in the wind. But like I'm being pushed, luckily, into the hill with the wind. <laughs> Even um, I have a bikini top on. I <laughs> unhooked my bikini top, it's that windy. Um, yeah, but ooh, here's my view, and that's how far I've done so far, but uh, about halfway. Not hard at all. way up I took the, the proper walking path but since it's so windy and it's um, and it's low season there's no one here so I'm just gonna take the nice paved road back um, I haven't seen a car yet so it should be fun um, but this is the view of the side I came up that's the town that I'm staying at Kimari um, my hostel is somewhere down there the airport's over there a little bit windy but um I feel a lot safer on a big path that's cemented but although uh the path I did come up was like lined with marble steps like they have so much marble here that they use it for hiking paths <laughs> it's crazy um but yeah so I'm just making my way down this nice road all to myself. Oh, yeah. 